Shout out. Yan, welcome back again for another reaction video na gagawin natin. At nakaraan, na napanood ninyo, nandun tayo sa Russian Armed Forces Military Inventory. Ngayon, dito naman tayo sa Ukraine. Oo, Armed Forces Ukraine Military Inventory. Ayan. So dito, makikita naman natin kung gaano kadami yung mga sundalo at mga sasakyan pandigma ng Ukraine. Oo. Since uh, lumalaganap o labanan uh, laban sa Russia and Ukraine. So, nakita na natin yung Russia. Punta naman tayo sa Ukraine. Diba? And then also, isa-isay natin bawat bansa. So, kasi nai-enjoy natin yung mga ganito mga military inventory. Diba? So, nag-aaroon tayo ng mga idea kung gaano kalalakas yung mga bansa o kung gaano si Galo nila uh, pinaghahandaan or ano, uh, pinalalakas ang kanilang mga ano, mga sakyan pandigma. Ayan. Gaano nila pinalalakas ang kanilang mga armed forces. Ah, di ba? Pang depensa sa bawat bansa yan. Ah. Hindi, hindi yan dapat ginagamit sa walang katuturan lang. Pang depensa lang yan. So, ayan. Pero bago tayo magsimula, shout out muna ulit sa inyo. Sa mga viewers natin dyan na nanonood. And patuloy na sumusubaybay sa ating mga video uploads. Ayan. Maraming 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 pong salamat sa inyo. So, sige, simulan na natin to. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's get it on, mga kaasim. Ukraine continues to empower its army for the possibility of a conflict with Russia. But how strong is the Ukrainian army? Let's see. The Ukrainian army was founded in 1917 to protect Ukraine from foreign threats. We're going to review the army in three subcategories, land, sea, and air forces. Ukraine's current president is the 43-year-old oh, Volodymyr yeah. Zelensky. The country is about 44 million. And its capital is key. Let's start with land forces. The Ukrainian army has a total number of 1,245,000 personnel. Okay. 255,000 of these are active personnel, while 900,000 are reserved. The army consists of well-trained units. Ukraine gained its independence from the so Alam nyo ito ha, idea lang ha. Sa mga ganitong klase kung makikita ninyo, kung sino yung mas maraming mga army, di ba? Yung mga active or mga reserve, di ba? Hindi yan sa dami. O, oh, hindi yan sa dami ng sundalo mo para manalo ka sa gera o oh, or makasindak ka sa isang bansa. Yan eh, depende sa strategy. O, oh, strategy sa talino ng mga sundalo na yan. Kahit nga gaano karami o kaunti pa yan, kayang-kayang manalo. Natatandaan nyo yung gera laban sa US at sa Vietnam. Ang ito nyo, gaano kaliit ang Vietnam, di ba? Laban sa Amerika. Napakalaki ng Amerika, napakadami ng sundalo. Pero, hindi sila nanalo sa Vietnam, guys. So, wala sa bilang yan ng mga army or sundalo, active man or reserve. Wala sa bilang yan. Nasa strategy yan, guys. Soviet Union in 1991. The army preserved their inventory from the independence years. Pasensya na, katinong ilong ko. Sobrang kati, wala namang kulangot. Since the start of the war in Donbass in April 2014 in eastern Ukraine, the Ukrainian side continues to upgrade its armed forces. In recent years, the army started to use more modern and technologically advanced equipment. The army does military exercises in order to be prepared for the Russian threat. Thanks to this, the Ukrainian army keeps its personnel trained and up to date. Ay, dapat talaga tulad dyan eh. Tignan nyo. Di ba marami rin silang reserve? Marami silang mga train na. Di ba? Dapat sa atin talaga ganyan din eh. Yung isang mga COC, yung mga ano? Mga CO, ano? CAT. Yung mga ganyan. Yung mga ROTC. Napaka-importante sa atin yan. Kaya dapat talaga maibalik yun eh. Kasi nagkakaroon tayo ng discipline sa sarili. And also nagkakaroon tayo ng idea maging, maging train sa mga basic lang. 
ng mga ano military ano lang exercises tulad diyan yung mga drills di ba and maganda nga sana o lahat sana ng mga Pilipino eh mag- ma-train din sa pagiging mil- magiging sundalo di ba para maging ano maging reserve lahat marunong humawak ng baril marunong lahat sa alam niyo yung mga protocols maging maging para maging handa lang di ba for defense purposes lang naman yun Eh sana ano maging ano rin lahat ng mga Pilipino di ba tulad ng mga mga bawat bansa ang daming reserve di ba kasi lahat sila trained mostly sa mga kalalakihan kahit kababaihan trained talaga sila di ba pag nangailangan yung government andun sila lahat kumbaga willing sila kasi trained sila eh, di ba Diba na balitaan natin may Miss Universe pa nga, di ba? Mga 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 beauty pageant, mga queen, mga mga ano, di ba? Mga beauty queen, di ba? Na mga sundalo rin pala. Di ba marunong silang humawak ng baril kasi train nga sila lahat. So sana maging ganoon din sa Pilipinas na maging train din lahat tayo. Para if ever mangailangan ng government ng ganito for defense at isanda tayo lahat, di ba? Let's continue with land systems. Tanks are the foundation of the Ukrainian army. The army has 2430 tanks. Dami rin, no? They also have 11,435 Military vehicles are upgraded with technological weapon systems. 155 of the tanks are the Ukrainian-made T-84. Yeah, with its advanced armor, T-84 is one of the strongest tanks in the world. Oh, diba? One of the most the strongest Ukrainian tanks army the also has 340 T-80 tanks and 300 T-72 tanks. Ang kulit ng ulo. May ulo niya. Talagang nakasilip siya ron, ano, ang kulit eh, na. Yala. Best of the tanks are T-64 <laughs> tanks. Mga rocket, oh. Rocket projectors. Anti-aircraft. Astig din, ano. Air Force. In modern warfare, air forces are of crucial importance. In war, the one who controls the air controls the land too. Yes. Ukrainian air forces has a total number of 285 aircrafts. They are 42 fighters. And they are 25 dedicated attack aircraft. 31 transport aircraft. 71 train aircraft and 5 special mission aircraft. Air forces also have 111 helicopters and 34 attack helicopters. After the Soviet collapse, lots of aircrafts were left to Ukraine. Ever since then, the Ukrainian Air Force has been downsizing and upgrading its forces. The main inventory of the Air Force still consists of Soviet-made aircraft. Air Forces of Ukraine could not receive sufficient investment since the nation gained its independence. Therefore, they could not have developed much further. But still, the Ukrainian companies Ukroboromprom and Antonov maintained a great sum of Ukrainian aircraft. Okay. In order to be prepared against the Russian threat, Ukraine bought 12 Turkish Bayraktar TB2 drones, as well as ordering another 48 of them. Drone. Yan ang uso ngayon eh, puro drone. Stig yung kulay ng MiG, no? Naval Force. Finally, let's review the Navy. In 2014's Crimean crisis, Ukrainian ships were docked in Sevastopol harbors in Crimea. After the crisis, the ships were convicted by Russia. Convicted? 
Later, Russia decided to give the assets back. But after the Donbass situation, they decided not to. Russia especially doesn't want to give Ternopil and Lutsk ships back, which are more modern ships. In the past, they were used for protection against threats coming from seas. But today, thanks to long-range weapon systems, they also serve land and air forces. But since the Ukrainian ships are in the hands of Russia, the Navy doesn't have a significant naval power. The Navy has 25 ships, but they are nothing but small patrol ships. Patrol ships lang mostly. Hindi naman kasi sila pang ano yun ah. Pang sea. Oh. Pang land talaga sila. Pang defense nila. Since Ukraine gave importance to defense forces in recent years, they have the annual budget of 9.6 billion for this purpose. 9.6 billion. Ukraine Ilang keeps bad. upgrading and developing their army with modern equipments. Ayan yung mga in-upgrade nila yung pang military, no? Yung mga baril. Yan ang in-upgrade nila mostly. Tsaka mga armored vehicle. Ayan, no? Today, we reviewed the Ukrainian armed forces in the light of the recent rising tension between Russia and Ukraine. If you enjoy this kind of military content, don't forget Ayan guys, so hanggang dito na lamang, di ba? So nakita natin yung uh, Ukraine um, Armed Forces Military Inventory. So hindi naman siya ganun kadami, di ba? Pero hindi naman sila ganun kahina, oo. Kasi nga, di ba, ika nga sabi ko sa inyo kanina, hindi yan sa dami or sa kaunti ng mga sundalo or army ng isang bansa. Nasa ano yan, strategy. O, kung gaano kayo katalino gumawa ng strategia, di ba? Strategy ang isang army ninyo. Kaya kaya yung talunin kahit kaano kalaking bansa, kahit kaano karaming sundalo, di ba? Nasa strategy talaga yan. Lalo na kung nandiyan kayo sa sarili ninyong bansa. Di ba't pinasok kayo ng mga banyaga o mga mananakop, di ba? Yung mga ganun. So yun lang mga kaasim, sana ay nagustuhan po ninyo ang ating pinanood ngayon about sa Ukraine uh, Armed Forces Military Inventory nila. Sa mga sasakyang pandigma, pati sa mga sundalo, ayan active or sa mga reserve area. So, uh, baka nga po pala, uh, hindi pa po kayo nakasubscribe sa ating YouTube channel. Guys, please pasubscribe na lang po and pag-click na rin po yung notification bell para maging updated po kayo sa mga latest video re reaction video na i-upload po natin. Ayan. So again, bago tayo magtapos guys, uh, maraming maraming salamat po ulit sa mga viewers natin ngayon na nanonood ng ating video. Ayan sa mga nanonood po dyan, may galap shoutout po sa inyo. Maraming maraming salamat and patuloy nyo po nawa uh, supportahan ng ating mga video at ng ating YouTube channel. Ayan. So hindi natin ito po tatagalin guys. So hanggang dito na lang in 3, 2, 1. Peace out. Ciao.